So, welcome to the third part of my After Effects hook for source tutorial. My name is MSG Havoc from advanceeffects.org and in the following tutorial I will show you how you can work with your camera in Cinema 4D and creating a 3D glass text and uh, using that in After Effects. So, of course we need the cam import plugin and that one is the right one and you can download it from advanceeffects.org and you also need NEMS tools crafty for exporting the map. So first we want export the map and I have downloaded crafty as you see we have first set up the options and that's the right path to my Steam also my username and I have also profiles counterflex source and now we can go into the file system browser and use our counterflex source shared GCF file if you don't have that you can also open by file open package and then you see counterflex source shared GCF so if you open that you can go into C strike and maps and we have to use DE dust because we captured a uh, dust2 demo. So double click and uh, that's our map. Uh, the map should also be textured in your view but um, for that tutorial you, know you don't need the textures but it's uh, mostly better you have that and yes anyway I'll just click on file and export and uh, delete that and I have a prepared folder and I will export that called dust2 save and that needs a little bit time so we can now in Cinema 4D go on file and merge and we can import the DE uh, the dust2 object and open that one and uh, that's our map and as you recognized moment global illumination default and as you see that one is untextured so for that tutorial we don't need the textures but I will show you how you can add the textures so for example you see we have prepared materials and also objects which have that materials and it's very easy we only have to open the material editor with the materials go on color and open the texture so in that case it's material 148 and 148 is here no and that material is finished so next one open and that one is also finished the next one open and so on. So as you see it's a little bit of work but not very difficult. But for our tutorial we don't need the textures so I can delete all the materials and also select the materials in our object browser and it's very easy by holding shift and delete that. Also select the rest remove and I can also remove the selection tags so now next thing is we have to click control A for selecting all and alt G for grouping them and we call that dust 2 so that's our map and now we have to use our import plugin so that one is HLCAM 2 Cinema 4D and I have also imported that or yes loaded that that one is the right choice and start it and don't click 90 degree fix and now select your capture it cam path or cam and in steam steam apps no frag source and 
that the cam B4H we captured in the tutorial before. So open cam loaded, OK, and as you see, that's our cam. So next step is we have to set up the field of view. As you see, default is 90 degree, also in Counter-Strike Source, but we have used a uh, specific um, resolution. So if I open one of the capturing files, moment, one of the capturing files, and and in Photoshop you see the resolution is that one. So it's not a Z normal four to three, and we have to yes fix that because we get an other field of view in Counter Strike Source by using not the similar four to three resolution. So in that case we have that. Um, field of view calculator and we can use 4 to 3 and the old fourth in Counter-Strike Source is 90 degree and now we have only at our new resolution we used by capturing and that one is uh, that and paste and we have used 768 so 768 now calculate and you see that is our new fourth or field of view. So copy and paste. So now that one fits to the capturing we did in Counter-Strike Source. So now it's very easy. We have to create our text. And uh, therefore, I go outside of my cam. Also disable the cam and the map so I can work now normal in Cinema 4D for creating the text and we use text and enter for example style or advanced fx yeah, sounds better and now also add an extrude nerves and put the text Spleen into the extrude nerves, and uh, that's our text. And as you see, we have a very hard edge. We ha can fix that by using the caps and filled caps and constraint. And radius is one, so it's a little bit more smooth. We can also change the steps to three, and uh, then we have a very smooth edge. So that's our text and uh, I call that one text. Also activate the cam and our map and now go into our cam and move forward to the position where the text should be stay and I think that's something like that. Now go to our text and just simply copy that position from the world from our cam into our text and so we have the same position for our text for as the camera stays in so now move a little bit back and now the next step is we have only scale a little bit down and also rotate it. I hold shift for that steppy rotation and I think that looks good and also move that a little bit to positionate that right. I think that looks quite good. Mm, maybe move, bring it upwards and I think that looks good. We fly through that D and I think that's really cool. So now next step is if we render that it doesn't look very special so in that case first we have to create a material for the black background without any specular. 